What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today you join me on a little ride out into the countryside because I recently got a message from somebody asking me, is Japan really as beautiful as they say? So I'm going to jump on the bike and give you my thoughts about that. And then as long as this wind dies down, I should be able to get the drone up in the air and get you some nice sexy shots of this beautiful little village called Koranke, which is a really popular tourist spot in my hometown. All right, let's get on the bike. All right, so what are my thoughts on that question? Is Japan actually as beautiful as they say? So my short answer is yes, I really do think it is. Um, but obviously uh, not the cities. Now I live in Nagoya, which is the fourth largest city in the country. And while it's not uh, an ugly looking city, it's also, I wouldn't say beautiful, um, just like any city in the world full of concrete, full of big tall buildings. Um, the summertime it stinks of all the air conditioning like gases and stuff. And because it is full of concrete, it just gets so bloody hot. Like we're talking the high, I'm not sure, it's not normally like this, uh, let's go straight. Not, not every year, but it, it got up to like 40 degrees centigrade or Celsius, what is it? And then combined with like 100% humidity, it is like a freaking oven in the summer. So it's only when you really get out of the city and get into places like the countryside, little places where I am today, um, that you really start to appreciate what a nice looking country it is. So yeah, basically for me, um, the countryside is where it's at. And depending on what kind of hobbies you're into, then I would say this country has got everything. Um, now, the funny thing about the weather here is it just, it's so freaking obvious um, that like the seasons just change on like, on like a day. And they'll just completely flip. So about two weeks ago, I was wearing uh, a t-shirt and I was warm and happy and it was all nice and sunny. And then the very next day, it became instantly cold. Like winter just suddenly came just like that. No, oh, this is taking a while. And um, so yeah, that that kind of I think that's cool because where I'm come where I come from, it's just bloody cold and windy and miserable all the time in England. I shouldn't say that, but yeah, I, I'm not really a big fan of the British weather. Um, but here, that the the way the seasons work is just so cool because um, this it's pretty much hot from April until the end of October so our summer is like pretty much like half a year pretty much and in those months you can do so much outdoor stuff now obviously riding bikes is awesome because the tracks are open pretty much seven days a week you don't need to reserve or anything you can just turn up pay some money and you can ride on the track so that is awesome then We've also got amazing mountain roads everywhere because Japan is just such a mountainous country. So for bikes, it's absolutely awesome. Um, there's, I, I don't know any, I, I don't think there's any bad side to um, being into bikes in Japan. Um, the only thing is just like getting your vehicle inspection and stuff costs a lot of money every two years, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, for bikes, absolutely perfect. Now if you've got like other hobbies, you're into outdoor stuff, then also, you know, me and my friends every year, um, we just go swimming in the rivers, having barbecues, go swimming in the sea. Um, you know, do a bit of snorkeling and stuff like that because the, wa the, the water temperature is just perfect. It's never too cold in the summer, so.
for that you've got that then if you're into winter sports like where I'm, from where I live um, say like an hour's drive you can get to a ski resort Um, so yeah if, if you're into outdoor stuff then the, this country is bloody perfect and when it comes to the beauty and stuff like the actual nature here is just awesome um, like even up in these hills here you'll have wild monkeys uh, deer um, wild boar bears um, snakes which I'm not too keen on but yeah we've got so much wildlife and so much like beautiful um, What's the word in English? It's keshki. Keshki in Japanese. I guess you could say like atmosphere or just like the views are amazing. Like every time we go for a ride somewhere up on, up into the mountains, you've got this amazing vista that you can look out on and it's just like just gorgeous. Like all those, look at those trees over there. They're just perfectly green. And then over there we've got this like forest with some red trees and stuff. It's just such a nice looking country. Um, so yeah, I I bloody love this place. So the other kind of thing is um, the architecture, I guess. So there's going to be some people out there who love the Japanese architecture, stuff like all the old castles and um, you know like shrines and temples and stuff like that. And yeah, there is a ton of ton of places like that that are really really gorgeous as well. Um, our city, like even just where I live. Where I live, I can literally cycle within a few minutes to, say, 10 different shrines and they all look, you know, re really cool and special looking. There's some massive ones as well with like all gold covered um, ornaments outside and big Buddha statues and stuff like that. So that is cool. And uh, yeah, I think um, the popular places in Japan like Kyoto and uh, Nara and places like that, obviously they're, they're super gorgeous as well. Um, I don't tend to go to so many places like that for like tourism stuff, but yeah, if you want to go and have a look around and explore the sights and sounds of uh, Japan, then you've got to do it once because it's such an amazing looking country. So yeah, basically uh, my short answer turn into a long answer but yeah i think japan is bloody beautiful i'm just stopping here now in this little little town look at this how cool is this I think I'll just stop here. Why not? Right then, let's have a quick look around this area. Should be okay here, I guess, the bike. It's not gonna roll back, is it? Right, so here we are at a place called Koranke. So I'm gonna go down to the river down there, have myself some lunch that I've got in my backpack. Now I'm gonna fly the drone around and see if we can get some nice cool shots of this bridge and the, the uh, forest and the trees and stuff. Oh look, talking of wildlife, it's a crane. How cool is that? Right then, see you in a minute. All right guys, so that's kind of my thoughts. I guess um, thinking about it now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what I think is beautiful, other people might not. So yeah, it's all relative, I guess. But anyway, the wind has died down now. I'm bloody freezing, so I'm eating some leftover curry from last night. And then once I've stuffed my face, I'm gonna get the drone out and try and get some nice shots for you guys. All right, see you in a bit.